Buongiorno. Did you miss me, guys? Yes, oh, very good. Let's do it. So, today I have a couple of fragrances for you. I bought a sample. Samples for both of them, thankfully. And yeah, those, uh, both of them from Frank Boclet. The one is Café. Oops. And the other one is Elaine. Elaine. Oops. Bottle in those line of fragrances looks like that. This is a tobacco. By the way, I made a review it, review on my channel of this one, of this little monster down below. So uh, the only drawback from for the bottle is the atomizer. Just check it out. It just kind of like spits in your face, but the fragrance itself is good. I mean the tobacco. So let's start with the cafe. I was intrigued by it and yeah, because it's a gourmand, it's positioned as a gourmand, has spirit and woody harmony, whatever that means. And it it has a lot of notes, different, which, you know, I even cannot make the connection, how connect them to represent the smell in my head, you know. So, for example, this is the notes. Top, bergamot, mandarin, lemon and coffee. Heart, coffee, rose, lily, orange blossom, rosemary. Base, sandal, cedar, patchouli, vetiver, amber, vanilla, moss. So, it got a little bit of everything. Uh, one uh, comment that I liked the guy wrote that fragrance reminds me like he's a putting off his cigarette in a can of condensed milk. So I thought it might be some smoky gourmand sweet fragrance. But hell no! This is... oh my god. I have to... wash my arm again, man. But this for the science. So this is a cafe. Oof, <laughs> man, no, 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 oh my god, well, it has some sourness from the citrus in, in the opening, but nevertheless, after that, it's all about the churchy incense, so if you, I remember I was in a church when I was very small with my grandma, so I remember that smell church instance when the priest going with that chain with uh, I don't know how it calls yeah and there's a smoke so he goes around he makes a circle so that's that's basically how it smells like oh my god it has some uh, some sweetness from the vanilla and that I don't know maybe patchouli comes across but to me it's all about that churchy incense vibe that's it. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad I bought the sample. I listened the voice of my intuition. So lesson number one, trust your intuition, guys. Well, that's it. That's all I can say. So no, I don't like. The other one, Elaine Len. So, the same kind of bottle. And yeah, this one I wore a few days ago. So, you can see, yeah. This one is good. Not, not wow, but is good. So. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yes. In the opening, it has this kind of interesting effect. Uh, it has incense in the opening, and but that incense, you know, it reminds me as a splash of matches. You kind of light up the matches, 
you see flame and then it goes down. So the same effect with the incense. It's kind of there, but when you sniff it again, after 10 seconds, it's gone. Oh yeah, then it's all about Elenia land throughout oh, all, the all the fragrance life, so to say. In the mid also there is a light touch of... Uh, how do we call it, man? Iris, yeah, that powderness from the iris, but very light. And in the base there is a caramel, which adds some extra sweetness. But throughout all, all the uh, all the life of fragrance, there is a uh, Elena Lan with some interchangeable notes. <sighs> yeah, so um, if you're a fan of Stronger With You Intensely, Stronger With You Absolutely, check this one out. Frank Booklet, Elena Lan. It just has this, you know, floral gourmandish aspect. So pretty good. Well, that's it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and see you. See you soon. <laughs>